Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Dave Gibson in the Digital Context Aware booth. And if you could talk a little bit about what exactly is Digital Context Aware. Okay, thanks, Jake. Yes, Digital Context Aware, DCA, is about bringing the right information at the right time to the right device. In 2010, if I would have taken these sets of wearables here and handed them to an enterprise resource and said, be productive, I think there would be a little bit of a learning curve. It'd probably take them a little bit of time. Today in 2015, Jake, I can hand the enterprise resource these uh, sets of devices and all they have to do is turn them on and these devices will make them productive in their job. Uh, we bring the right information to the device at the right time. So when you say these, these will make them productive in, your, in their job, can you give me an example of what that, what that looks like? Yeah, 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 you bet. So one example is, I'll do a couple of examples. One example is we can automatically navigate them around throughout the day. If they're a person that's on a schedule, we know all about them. So we can actually turn the right device on, navigate them uh, to the location they're supposed to be at. Uh, we automatically turn on another device, uh, or the, we actually send information to another device like a watch. When they arrive, it says, hey, you arrived, you're supposed to do this task. We can automatically turn on uh, a function on another device like a smart glass that has a checklist that tells them exactly how to do that task. So, if, so like, like for example, I could have a, like a checklist up here in my eye, but probably not with this particular not, not unit. This, but, yeah. Not this unit, but you could do it with this unit or another unit. Yes, and that checklist is, is voice activated. So if you got stuck on step three in that checklist, Jake, you could say video, and we could actually bring up a video snippet at their ex expert level uh, expertise level to show them how to get to that step. If that's not good enough, Jake, we could actually they could actually say diagram and we would bring up engineering diagrams to show them how the pieces fit together. If that's not good enough, we could say, hey, call agent and it would actually call a, a expert remotely. They could see exactly what they're seeing and help them solve the problem from miles away. So that's one use case that pulls together a lot of service packages and they don't have to do anything except turn on the devices. Everything just happens because we know all about that person. Another use case if you want to talk about is, is a use case that uses devices like this. And uh, there's situations where people are in very extreme conditions. And we want to understand, are they getting dehydrated? What, what, what's going on with so, their so biometrics? How does, this, how does this tell somebody whether or not they're dehydrated? Yeah, so these types of, uh, uh, these types of sensors, uh, coupled with other sensors, can pull biometrics their emotional state and determine whether these guys are um, in a good state, whether from a biometric standpoint, or emotional standpoint, it can notify their boss, can notify a guy next to them. You can build these devices into uh, hard hats, into so, police so officers. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has expanders, so, so you can expand it out. So we have 400 plus use cases and growing. We have 10 patents pending uh, on this technology. It's really cool stuff. And uh, we're really starting to really materialize their industry use cases. We talked to Dave a little bit about uh, some of the actual use cases for the digital context aware, but what's the value proposition for businesses in, in using something like this? The real business value is looking at how we can use the devices to solve real world business problems. We're totally focused on solving a problem for an enterprise, for a company, for an individual to either increase revenue, decrease expenses, or improve the customer value because at the end of the day, we're not just selling a widget. We're not just selling it for the sake of bringing in a new technology. We really want to focus on the ability to use the different disparate devices together to solve a problem. And no one else out there has the ability to look at a tablet, a watch, and a, and a glass from three different companies, monitor them, and actually work in a collaborative manner. So in case maybe the battery life of one fails, it can go to another device and still find and provide the end user with their real world business solution. Wow, so give me an example of how, um, how this could help either increase revenue or decrease cost. Okay, let's just say for example, um, a big manufacturing firm. Someone actually works on something and to get the schematic drawing, they have to actually leave where they're working at, go to a computer, look at it. But also too, when they walk away, they might decide, oh, I'm going to get a soda, I'm going to talk to a compadre. So by the time they come back to their workstation, it might be 20 minutes later. 
If we're able to provide them the information just in time, what they need to do that particular task, provide maybe provide the schematic in glass, or provide it on a tablet or on their watch, they can actually get the information they need to do their job and continue working and have more productivity. Or it might be using it as a force multiplier. For example, one insurance company had a major problem with uh, not having enough claims examiners after a major disaster. We were able to actually have the experienced claims examiner sit in a room with two 40-inch monitors, and then you put other employees, other staff members, glass, and they can walk out and record it, and you actually use it as a force multiplier to increase efficiency. And also wow. the end customers are more happy about it. As you know, we've grown a great deal since we saw you last year. We now have 10 patents in place, over 400 use cases, and we're continuing to build the digital context aware infrastructure and the ecosystem to really make it more focused on solving real business problems. All right, well I look forward to checking back and seeing where you guys are next year. Look forward to it, great, Thanks. thank you.